Hi everyone, this is CRH Films. Today I'm going to tell you about the 2004 movie, Terminal. Victor Navorsky flies to New York to fulfill his father's last request. But while he was flying to the US, there was a military coup in his country, Krakosia. Until the US recognizes the new government, Victor can't get to the US, but he can't leave either, as all flights to his country have been cancelled. Victor will have to stay in the airport terminal. Frank Dixon, head of airport security, tries to explain the whole situation to Victor, but he doesn't believe it until he sees the newscast. They take away his ticket, his passport and tell him he has to stay in the terminal until the situation in Krakosia gets better. He was given food stamps, a pager to contact airport management, and a key card. Victor really began to wait. Sitting on a bench he decides to help a girl close her suitcase, his food vouchers fell on the floor and were picked up by a janitor named Gupta, Victor tried to return the vouchers but it didn't work, he was left without food and his country's money is not accepted here. He goes to exit 67 and stays there overnight. The whole time he had a jar of peanuts, which he never let out of his hands for a minute. The next day the head of security for the entire airport comes to Frank and gives him the good news, he is retiring and has recommended Frank for his position. In order to be promoted, Frank has to pass a test, which Frank is not afraid of since he has been working at the airport for 17 years. Victor has already gotten used to the airport, he washes in the restroom, lives in an unused wing of the airport and almost every day comes to the passport officer, Dolores Torres to get a visa, but every time he is refused. Frank sees that Navorsky is still living in the airport, he decides to help him get out and tells him that when security changes, there will be no one at the exit for exactly 5 minutes. Victor takes the hint, he was about to leave, but notices the camera following him and decides to stay. Later Navorsky meets a stewardess Amelia Warren, she slips on the wet floor and breaks her heel, Victor helps her and gives her a discount coupon at a shoe store. He sees Amelia being greeted by a man and they kiss, it upsets him as he likes the girl. The airport workers discuss Victor, Gupta thinks that he is an intelligence officer, but his friends Mulroy and Enrique Cruz disagree with him. Victor is starving and has no way to get food from anywhere. One day he sees a woman return a cart and gets 25 cents for it. He immediately goes to collect the carts, and with the money he gets, he buys food. He sometimes watches the news. But Victor doesn't know English well, so they decide to learn it through books. One book is in his native language and the other is in English. Enrique sees that Victor is good at communicating with Amelia. Enrique likes the girl and asks for Victor's help to find out what the girl likes and in return will give Victor food. Navorsky agrees, as he lost his earnings returning the carts, Frank specifically hired a man for this job, hoping that left without money and food, Victor will run away from the airport, as the man has already bored him. Victor tells Dolores that she has an admirer and the girl tells him about her hobbies. Enrique learns that they have a lot in common, suddenly Navorsky is called by Frank, who says he knows how to solve his problem. Victor needs to declare that he is afraid to return to his homeland and needs to ask for asylum from the US. The court will consider his case for about six months, and during all this time Victor will be able to live in the USA. After that he will be able to stay in America forever. Victor refuses, as he wants to return home. After the conversation he meets Amelia, a girl upset because of unpleasant words in the conversation with her boyfriend, he is married, but the girl believes that someday he will leave his wife and live with her. They strike up a conversation, the girl thinks Navorsky is a construction worker and flies a lot too. She invites him to dinner, but Victor refuses as he can't leave the airport. The girl leaves, and Victor finds out the price of the dish Amelia wanted to order and goes to look for a job, but they won't take him anywhere without documents. He goes to bed, notices an unfinished wall on the way, turns on his favorite music and repairs it. In the morning he is noticed by builders and offers to work for them. Victor has money again. One day Enrique invites Victor to play poker after work. Gupta and Mulroy are also here, but Strick was against it, as he still thinks Navorsky is an employee of the Secret Service. They decide to scan him before the game, they find nothing suspicious. During his next meeting with Amelia, Victor learns that she is fascinated by history, and especially Napoleon's life story. At the same time, an airport employee begins taking bets on when Navorsky will leave the terminal. Three days later, Frank has a check, he tries to send Victor anywhere, but they refuse to take him even to prison for a while. Frank is forced to lock Victor up in an offender holding cell. 
During the inspection Frank demonstrates his professionalism and shows the inspectors how clearly all the security departments work. Everything is going well until one of the policemen informs Frank that they have detained a passenger who has no documents for medication. The detainee doesn't know English, so the policeman can't explain to him the reason for his detention. Frank asks Victor to help him as a translator and promises to solve his problems if he manages to calm down the passenger. Frank asks him to translate that you can't transport pills without accompanying paperwork, the man replies that he is carrying pills for his dying father, despite this he is arrested and the medication is taken away. Victor remembers seeing on one of the forms that pills for animals can be transported without documents, he says that he mistranslated it, and in fact, the man was not taking the pills to his father, but to a goat. Frank has to let the passenger go. He is very angry with Victor, all this is seen by the inspectors, he is left in his position, but the promotion is postponed indefinitely, because of which he promises not to let Victor out of the airport as long as he can. An embellished story retold to the airport staff by Gupta, an Indian janitor, makes Victor a hero. He earns the nickname Goat Man, and copies of a snapshot of his palm, obtained during his conversation with Dixon, hung by workers throughout the building. Milwerski asks his friends to help him find out more about Amelia, as he wants to surprise her when she arrives. Together they sneak into the room where the personnel files are kept. When Gupta hears some noise he runs away. In India he attacked a policeman who demanded a bribe from him, so if he is caught by the police he could be deported. Victor learns the information he needs, buys a suit and has dinner ready. When Amelia returns, Victor's friends make sure they meet. During dinner, Amelia's pager keeps ringing, along with Victor, they toss the pagers onto the runway. At the end of the date Victor asks if Amelia knows what Napoleon gave Josephine after conquering Bavaria, Amelia didn't know when Victor promised to show the next time they meet. They would meet again in 13 days, the same evening Navorsky said about making Amelia's gift. Enrique did make up his mind and proposed to Dolores, they got married and had a wedding at the terminal. When Amelia returns, she is taken to Frank, who tells her the truth about Victor. A distraught Amelia finds Victor and says that she left her lover for him. The girl is very angry with Victor, but the man shows her his gift, fountain of multicolored stones. The girl is shocked, she asks him to tell the whole truth. Victor says that his late father once saw a famous photo in the newspaper and until his death collected autographs of Jasmine, but never managed to get the last one, it was Victor who came for it, and then put all the autographs in a jar of peanuts. Amelia realizes that Victor is the only man who does not deceive her and kisses him. The next day Victor learns that the war in Krakosia is over, he is very happy, but Amelia comes and says that she has returned to her lover, he made a one-day visa for Navorsky. Victor goes to see Dolores, but learns that he still needs to get permission from Frank, he is moving into a new office at this time, as he did get promoted. Frank gives Victor his passport and ticket and asks the officers to escort the man to the plane, but he refuses as he wants to visit New York. Then Frank blackmails Navorsky, if he doesn't fly home right away, Dixon will use the compromise to fire and put Victor's friends Enrique and Gupta on trial, he agrees to return home. When Gupta finds out why Victor refused to visit New York, he throws himself under the landing gear of the plane flying to Krakosia and delays the flight. Frank orders security to keep Navorsky out, but the head of security does not follow orders. Navorsky makes it to New York with only two hours to spare, in that time he finds the jazz man and gets him one last autograph for his father's collection before heading home.